were on the scene this morning of an early morning house fire. And Kate Walsh is joining us live from the scene with an 8 o'clock update. Well, this is the live look behind me here on Bonnie Street, and you can see that the fire crews have left on this side. There's caution tape up, and we're looking at the extensive damage caused by that fire to this building, which fire officials say was vacant at the time of this fire early this morning. But on the other side of the street, on the Crapo Street side, we can still see a fire truck there. Fire officials still walking around, making sure that there's no hot spots coming back from the fire overnight and the main concern was just dousing it with water to make sure that the fire didn't spread to the neighboring apartment buildings which are very close to this one we do see that some of the siding melted uh, on those neighboring apartment buildings so residents were evacuated in the overnight hours after the fire came in around one o'clock and they had to just stay in their cars or go somewhere else for most of the early morning hours until just about an hour ago when they were able to go back into their homes once again and power had been restored here. So we spoke to fire chief early this morning around four o'clock and he explained why they believe this was suspicious. Uh, this is the second fire we've had within a year. Uh, the extent of the fire upon arrival, the house has been boarded up. It's unoccupied, the time of day, uh, the multiple calls that came in, and the fire load that we had on arrival. The fire was coming out of all three floors, including the roof, so we knew we had a head start. Uh, so it's right now it's deemed suspicious. Unfortunately, no one was hurt, no firefighters hurt either in this uh, fire attack this morning as they worked to put out the flames here. We also checked some real estate records online and it shows that this was actually for sale and that it went off the market in late July. So likely that it switched hands at that time not too long ago and that earlier fire was in January. Those real estate records say that the price was reduced because of the damage caused by that earlier fire. Live in New Bedford, I'm Kate Wall. 12 news been a very busy couple of days for firefighters in New Bedford. So there's another major fire this morning. This after Monday night's yacht fire at the Pope's Island Marina. So this fire this morning that we are tracking happening in the south end on Bonnie Street near Route 18. 12 news reporter Kate Walsh has been on the scene now since about 430 this morning. And uh, what's the latest you can tell us now, Kate? Well, now people are driving by, slowing down like this vehicle behind us, checking out the damage because it is extensive. This building, of course, considered a total loss now. There's no saving this. And this is the second fire at this building. The first one, the chief said, was at the beginning of the year. So this was vacant at the time of the fire this morning. And that's why fire officials believe that it's suspicious in nature. They had state police investigators come with dogs, state fire marshal's office investigating the exact cause, but they don't believe there were any activities lines to the house, either electrical or gas, so there wouldn't be a reason for this house to suddenly catch fire like this. All of the windows were boarded up at the time of the fire this morning around one o'clock, but because of how close this building is to the neighboring apartment buildings, people in those neighboring buildings were evacuated throughout the early morning hours. They had to sit in their cars, try to sleep. They had to bring their animals out with them. They're now back into their homes. The power has been restored to that building. We saw to the neighboring buildings, I should say. We saw Eversource Energy here restoring the power about two hours ago now. But on the other side of this apartment building is Crapo Street, and there is a fire truck still there. Fire officials still manning the area, likely making sure that no hot spots return. So right now the case is that they're making sure this building is secure and that the investigation continues into what exactly caused this fire early this morning. So we'll continue to update you as soon as we get new information here. Live in New Bedford, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.